what is going on guys cat hair everywhere Gemma here mm. and back again for another video and today we're going to be giving a very special message to a young man by the name of Callum um, and all this will make sense as you'll probably read in the title and thinking this is a retro game pickups um, but I want to kind of I want you guys to just sit with me for a minute and I'd just like some of your attention so we can just have a little chat and Callum I'll be sending this video to your dad so I know you're going to get this message so Back a couple of weeks ago at the Doncaster Gaming Market, I bumped into Callum and his dad. Um, very, very nice, like I've mentioned before in a previous video. And Callum was a big fan of the channel. I think Callum was about nine. Could have got your age wrong, mate, so I apologise in advance. Um, and, you know, his dad said to me that the, 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 the Lady Lounge tour was a, a video that Callum had watched over and over again, bless him. Um, and he'd also watched the videos of, with the, the kind of real talk mental health, which I thought was really empowering, you know, and um, that you can kind of reach, reach people of different ages when you put out kind of real talk topics. So I thought that was like super cool. And then I bumped into Callum and his dad um, later on. Um, and I noticed Callum was looking at a little t-shirt store. So I was like, look, dude, pick a t-shirt. I'll buy you a t-shirt. And he picked this really cool Pokemon t-shirt out. Um, and you know, it was like, it was just really nice and you know, things like that really kind of empower me to be able to kind of give back a little bit. And then I kind of got home and his dad reached out to me and said that you, you know, you really made Callum's day. Um, it, it, it was really nice to meet you. And Callum, it was nice to meet you too, dude. And your dad sent me the pickups video that you did, which was absolutely gnarly. And I just want to say, well done because you've got great taste in games, you articulate your point really, really well, and it was like, it was some really good quality stuff. So um, I wanted to just mention this in a pickups video. I was gonna show the video, but YouTube have been, uh, like, I've been like, I saw this, this other channel that I follow, and all of his comments were disabled, and the reason his comments were disabled is because he could consistently, like it's like a family's channel, and YouTube blocked his comments because that there were like kids in his video and they're kind of clamping down on showing minors that aren't, you know, like aren't yours or whatever. So I can't show the video, Callum, but what I'm gonna do for you, young man, is I'm gonna send you a channel card with a page full of my channel stickers. You know the banner art on my main channel designed by Army of Trolls? I've got some cards and I'll send one out for you. Um, I'll get the address off your dad, but I just wanted to give you a little shout out and I hope that, you know, if you ever feel kind of uncertain in life or you ever feel, you know, a little bit afraid or anybody tries to put you down, don't, don't worry about it, mate, because anyone that tries to put you down, if you try to do something like a YouTube channel or you're in school, you're doing a project or whatever, the best thing to do is to laugh, take strength from it and walk away because it's you that people will be jealous of. It's you that people will think, wow, he, he's unique and they might kind of take it out on you in the wrong way but it, it don't worry because sometimes people do that to me mate sometimes people come at me so it doesn't matter what age you are I'm 36 and sometimes people try and pull me down with nasty words and they say things and meh, meh, meh. but do you know what it makes me look at what I'm doing and I ask myself this question what can I do better this is my cat husky by the way what can I do better to prove those people wrong so I hope that you can continue to take some inspiration from your favorite YouTubers and I hope you continue to game because you are the next generation of YouTubers coming through. Um, make sure you keep on gaming, make sure you kind of stay passionate, be safe, be healthy and be successful. Um, and I now I'm going to show you my pickup. So uh, thank you very much Callum and please, um, yeah, it's just, just keep doing what you're doing mate. Absolutely wicked. Okay, so back, uh, I think on Monday, we put this retro game hunt out. It was from Kirkby Sales and Exchange. I've been down there before, but Nina always has new stock in and I just picked out some games uh, that really just kind of caught my eye. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys through that. And, and I'd really like to know what you guys have been picking up recently. And I also just want you a little bit of advice. You may be able to hear my dog behind the door right there. Um, do you like pickups videos? Are they your thing? Or do you kind of prefer to see different content? I personally love pickups videos. Um, so let me just scan my SNES shelf because I'm absolutely certain 
I don't have this boxed. Um, it's nothing special this isn't, it's a little bit of a battered box but it was only like six quid. So I picked up International Superstar Soccer. Now back in the day, these top down football games or kind of isometric football games as some of the FIFA games were, were really fun to play. Um, Hello Husky, it, for me it was less about tactics and thinking and more about just enjoying yourself whereas now I play things like FIFA or I kind of look into like I consider pairs at times and it's just I can't be bothered to put the energy into thinking about it. So that's why I've got to <laughs> think like football games are my guilty pleasure on 16-bit consoles. Um, hello Husky, he's trying to high five, all right, Caesar had a little operation now, I'm going to fuss you in a minute. And then again for like, I think this was like five or six, Kevin Keegan's player manager. So a little bit more strategic as you actually have to think a little bit more to kind of manage your team. Da, da, da. And for those of you in the like North American regions, Kevin Keegan was a really famous footballer back in the day. And then he went on to manage, I think, Newcastle. I remember him managing Newcastle. So there we go. I'm 36. I'm not afraid to show my age. But he was quite a talking point in school was Kevin Keegan as were a lot of the prominent kind of players and managers back then. And I don't own it. And you know what? Where I can buy, you know, SNES games, I will play. I will play these games because, like I said, I have a nostalgic fetish for the older football games. So I will play these. I'm super stoked. So picked them up. Now, on that retro game hunt video, it will be in the comments, by the way. Picked up, found, sourced, brought, whatever you want to call it, a copy of Wolfenstein 3D on the Atari Jaguar. Um, have Doom. And I mean, there's nothing I can really say about Wolfenstein that's going to enlighten anybody. It is a first person shooter. We are battling our way through a barrage of evil Nazis, and it's pretty darn gnarly. You can expect anything like a doom experience but this this came before doom i'm absolutely certain this came before doom i love it i absolutely love it it it's not as fleshed out like for me when i played this back in the day i didn't even like it because at the time like doom was coming out you know like 94 95 96 that kind of like prime doom period it was so well done and so well fleshed out with like varied monsters, different levels, they all look different, amazing soundtrack. This kind of seemed like the little sister that nobody really wanted to kind of hang out with back when I was a kid. Um, you know, it's a little bit more bland, but I kind of feel that now it's had the reverse effects. Like you pick up Wolfenstein, like a Wolfenstein game, and it's just, it's so simple. And it, it just feels right. I, I think, I think, I mean, I know what I mean. And I'm talking to people out there that buzz off nostalgia because I think you guys would also know what I mean. It plays great as well. It's really nice to see a little bit of Jaguar love on retro game hunts. So we'll continue then. Um, snagged a copy of Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Um, fight real ecological threats through nine levels of deadly pollution. Five eco heroes summon earth, fire, wind, water, and heart to defend our planet from destruction. Loved the cartoon back in the day. Loved the video game. When you read it out like nine levels, that doesn't sound like a lot at all. But back in the day, man, you're like, dude, I've got to level seven. No way. And it, it just seemed like such a battle to get through these. So I <laughs> just love it. I love it. I've been after it for quite a while, actually, but it is missing manual. Uh, but that's fine. They're easy enough to pick up. And then I think it was Z in the retro game hunt video that actually guessed right when I said, let's take a look at the OG Xbox games. And I want you guys to guess what I picked up. And Z, you guessed right, because I did pick up Metal Slug 4 and I picked up Metal Slug 3. One of the best things about Nina's shop is that you can find some really nice gems. I did get all these from Kirkby Sales and Exchange, like a Jaguar game out in the wild, like your Metal Slugs for really good prices. I think Metal Slug 3 was a tenner and Metal Slug 4 was priced at 15. So for me, I think they're really good prices and well worth it, especially because you don't see them around that often. Um, even in like CEX, I mean, somebody else pointed out I think it was Predator on OG Xbox for like a fiver and they're like, dude, that's like a really good deal. So might actually go back and get it. So 
there we go. It's, 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 it's a short one, but I think it's been a meaningful one. Um, I loved your, uh, just to kind of conclude, I loved your pickups, Callum. Uh, really well done. Great articulation. And we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be kind of keeping an eye out for more content from you. Lovely. Um, but anyway, guys, let's conclude. So there we go. Um, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, do whatever you want. I don't, I don't really care at this point. Um, smash a comment below, but let me know. Tag me on social media and let me know what you've picked up. But for now, I'll be back on Friday with more delightful content for your faces. Free content. Free content on YouTube, of course. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys then. But for now, my name is Gemma. Take care. See you guys soon.